it must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. Catwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. How goes it? Preparations for the audience proceeding as planned. Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a barber too? Oh. No. Mouvran Boris, commander of the Alba Division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men, all of them. Indeed, were. For none have returned to Vizima, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And a uh, razor to your throat. Your men died in battle, as soldiers tend to. I see their fate does not trouble you overly. True. But I'm guessing the fate of those whose country they invaded didn't overly trouble them. Nordlings, we can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you too. Done. Shall I shave him once more against the grain? No. He himself is very much against the grain. That's enough. Farewell, Witcher. Or rather, See you soon. Good. Now the gentleman may dress. Sadly, I did not receive exact measurements. If the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust them. Go with wearing my clothes. clothes. Where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Okay. Oh, that's not what we need to do. All that. Uh, what, what we want to do is we want to... Meditate? No, 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 no. We want to use our rank up point, our level. Oh, we've unlocked this. Oh, okay, so this is like a... Um... Wait, what? Okay, we got more vitality, which is always good. Perfect. Okay, what do we got here? I 
don't really like the shoulder pads on any of these. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. I need to do uh, backspace is the one I need. I've got a bath towel. Let's go. Uh, boots. So I don't have any gloves. Okay. It tells me all these things. I'm just, just like in this exact moment, I don't want to read it, so I'm not going to read it. A shame I have no time. I don't care. I'm talking to you anyway. Kind and do not disturb. It's my mug now. A shame I have no time. Does like, this guy literally know that I'm literally not speaking to him? Like, I'm not, I'm not going to speak to you. Just robbing all this. <laughs> we'll get round to reading these books. Okay, perfect. Oh, might be more books. I don't know if... Um, you know, the books are like they are in uh, Skyrim. They kind of give you knowledge. Do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Um. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner, not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Um, I generally just don't know what he said. Right hand on chest or left hand on chest? I feel like it's a uh, right hand on chest, right? Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Perfect. I got it right. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate type. Your Arch Magnificency. Right, he is very loud for some reason. Um, music. Let's bring the music down a little bit. Effects, voice. Let's turn the voice down. Just by a few points. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Lean Spoken loudly, Emperor. clearly, and with respect. I'll make sure there's, you know, he wants me to go that way, so I'm going to go this way. Mm. All right. Well, I got a book. Let's 
surprised they didn't wonder where I was gone. Yeah, we're gonna bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen vat gern favot. I got no weapons, so we're gonna we're gonna behave. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days. So silence. My daughter Surila. She's returned, and she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Let's do... Two. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanafu will do that after the audience. Uh, we'll go with why me, I guess. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me. Yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Uh, I need information, not motivation. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My core of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Ooh, sorceress. The gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts. Need not. All right, we're gonna just turn the audio down quick. I do want to hear it. I just don't want it to blow my eardrums. I could put on the hunting leggings right now. No one would know. Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herevard the second, Prince of Elanda. The scene is not my name to wait here like yeah. supplicants. Um, Rad Sleden, eh, 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 I got an ingot. Without anybody knowing. Well, he, he knew, but... Then 
Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Fine. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild. All we want is we want all these books. We're gonna read all these books. They might have interesting stuff in them. Another smoking pipe. I could sell these things, I suppose. Oh, well, bookshelves are gonna have books on them. I can only loot one book off a bookshelf, and the bookshelf's got like <laughs> so another smoking pipe. Ah, oh, I wanted to loot that. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now, do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. We're going to go with this one. So they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice. So please, let's not belabor the pros and cons and instead focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Emir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe, before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but... I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. Uh, let's go this one. The Wild Hunt. What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. Fine, we got this one then. So where's Siri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Tris Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently. Blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? 
Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it, any of it. Guess we've only got that one, really. Guess uh this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. I shall be waiting. Okay. So she's like... Okay. It's like she didn't want to use magic, but now, <laughs> now she's using it. Scars healed nicely. We're just gonna rob everything. Was there something else? Yeah, there is. I don't know if I've got like a um I right, talked to this dude. Ambassador Varatra. Jennifer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. Okay, how's the war going on? What's the current situation? What's new in Orgrad? <laughs> Thanks for your help. I suppose we just go... I want to do four, maybe. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Fine. Okay, we'll go to Novigrad. Any news from Novigrad? Oh, Novigrad, sorry. Is the city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships. Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. Okay, hey, we'll work our way up. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. 
This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm -hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. Definitely fighting him. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin. His ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. Okay, that's an odd martyr here. Uh, admiration. Now, nah, we're going to ask about this guy. About Kavir? Kavir values its neutrality. Enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses. Unprecedented, even. The Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Amir Var Enris will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Fine, okay, so we, we've asked him everything. So I think it's just thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Okay, he's actually given a, a lot of information. Ooh. All right, mate, you're in my way, so. Uh, wants me to go, got to go out this door. Yeah, perfect. All right, before we go through that door, I'm going to say thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed today's content, then please do consider liking and subscribing. It does help out the channel quite a lot. And hopefully I'll catch you everyone on another stream or video sometime soon. Uh, peace.